Let me ask you a question. If you were to buy a stock that doesn't pay you dividends and for the years that you're holding on to it, it grows sideways, it doesn't give you capital appreciation and when you sell it, you have to sell it at your buy price, how much do you earn? Now, if the same situation were to happen on property investment, do you know that you can still make a profit out of it? So this is what this video is going to be about, the profits you can make from property investment. Subscribe and give me an early thumbs up. I'm going to start off with the most commonly known profit which is capital appreciation and basically it just means that you can sell the property at a price higher than what you paid for it and this can happen in two ways number one is that the property has already increased in value over time or number two you bought the property at a price that is below the market value most people think that this is the only profit that they can make from property investment and when a property market says that property is growing at say 2% per year, they think that their money invested in property is only growing at 2% per year and this on many levels is so not true. So many people like to compare property investment with investing in REITs and claims that investing in REITs is better. The next profit you can make from property investment is if your rental income can cover your monthly expenses such as your monthly mortgage, uh, taxes and management fees and you get an excess out of it. And this is very similar to say dividend stocks because you're getting a regular payout. Now what if your rental income cannot cover your expenses? Are you losing money? No! Most people are overly concerned about this because they don't know how their profit is derived from. Some of my properties are giving me positive cash flow every month while some are giving me negative and I don't panic when I get negative cash flow because I know that as long as I can pay off or top out the difference every month, I'm still overall profitable. And to be honest, how much negative cash flow you get every month don't just depend on your monthly rental income, it also depends on your monthly mortgage. Now think about it, if you buy a property with very little down payment, it means you need to take on a higher amount of mortgage and with that right, your monthly mortgage will be higher so it is normal that you experience a little bit of negative cash flow and that's okay as long as you know that this property that you bought is a good one and it will eventually be profitable. If you were to put down a lot of down payments such that your monthly mortgage is very little, it's common that you are getting positive cash flow, isn't it? So what if you buy a property that doesn't give you positive cash flow and it doesn't appreciate in price? Does it mean that you're losing money? No! The last profit that I'm going to share with you is what makes property investment very predictable and stable for me and it is something that you cannot get from investing in stocks. Now think about it, if you borrow 100000 from the bank to buy a property and you're supposed to pay off 10000 per year for 10 years and for the first 3 years you have been paying off the mortgage by yourself and so after 3 years you would have paid off 30000 and your outstanding loan would be 70000 so now you want to sell off this property without any capital appreciation at $100,000. You need to repay your outstanding loan back to the bank of $70,000. And so what do you get back? You get back the $30,000 that you've been paying in principle for the past 3 years. You can think of this like a forced savings because you've been paying the mortgage every year. You've been paying the principal every year for the past 3 years and this is the four savings that you get back when you sell off this property. Now using the same example but this time round instead of you being the one paying off the mortgage for the past 3 years, you rent out the property and your tenant is the one paying off this mortgage monthly for you. So for the 3 years of paying off this mortgage, this 30000 that you have in principle was paid by your tenant not you and this 30000 is your profit in principle. So so even if your property is not appreciating and even if it is not giving you a positive cash flow, as long as you are renting it out, you are still profitable. I hope this video helps you see why property investment is stable, is profitable and is predictable. See you in the next video.